Hump. Mm, noob jam. Hello and welcome back to American Arcadia. Let's keep going. We are in the Cygnus Hotel and we're trying to find a badge that will help us get out of here. There is a laundry cart ahead. Get inside and make sure you can't be seen. An auto droid will bring it to the room floor shortly. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. All right, piece of cake, she said. Hey, at least this is clean laundry. That's something. How, how long am I supposed to wait in here, Kovacs? I don't know. My suite is in the ninth floor, so... The ninth floor? Shh, pipe down. The auto droid's coming. Listen, when you get into my room, you'll find a suitcase that, well, you don't need any further description. Let's just say that my suitcase really stands out. Does it? <laughs> Three days ago. Next, please. Hello, welcome to your holidays in Arcadia. Please leave your luggage on the conveyor belt. May I scan your Arcadia e-ticket, please? Sure, here you go. Just give me a second while I find your booking. Oh, here it is. Four nights in a deluxe suite at the Grand Hotel Cygnus for Sylvia Lauren, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Your deluxe suite includes the Insta delivery service for your vacation at no additional cost. So your bags will be in your room in just a few seconds. Oh, wow. That's convenient. Remember that you give your permission to open, search, check, and scan your luggage in case you've forgotten any modern technological devices inside it. <laughs> of course. But don't worry, there's nothing inside. I've been really careful. Great! Just a few more things. Before your entry day, you must take the Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow ride down this hallway to the left. You don't have to wait in line. Speedway access is included with your deluxe booking. And finally, remember, on your entry day, don't wear any modern clothing, piercings, dyed hair, or any other fashionable items that might be considered anachronistic for the people of Arcadia. We love your look, but we can't let you break the fourth wall. <laughs> Will do. Thank you so much. Thank you, and enjoy your holidays in Arcadia. Ugh, two more seconds of corporate curtsy and I would have puked rainbows. Yeah. Next part of the plan. Gotta get this stupid thing inside my suitcase so Trevor can wear it. I can press the sprint? Oh, there it is. It doesn't feel like I'm sprinting very hard, I gotta say. So this is me walking and this is me sprinting. Can you spot the difference? It's very slight. Yeah, I didn't want to read that anyway. So that is Arcadia. Arcadia was never intended to be this crazy megalopolis. Was it? Arcadia was never intended to be this oh. crazy megalopolis. I thought she had maybe something else to say. That monstrosity is so high that it even sticks out of the Arcadia dome. I'm more curious how the dome is staying up, to be quite honest, but oh well. Poor fools. Alright. It's highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to install the AA app. It's also highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to give the AA app a 5 star rating. I mean, fair enough. Do not break the fourth wall. This is constantly repeated to all Arcadia visitors. It means revealing something from the outside world to an Arcadian-born citizen. Yeah, well... Only a megalomaniac like Vivian would order her face to be carved in stone. Hmm. 
All right, one at a time. <laughs> that this dimwit is the most popular person in the city really sums up what Arcadia has become. It became television. I'm crazy about this song. Poor Trevor must be crazy about it too, but for different reasons. Arcadia's greatest artist is a talented young woman locked in a gilded cage. A musical genius and another unknowing prisoner. We'll probably have to get Trevor in this thing to get inside the Cygnus. Probably. I hope this is all inner monologue, of course. I hope she's not saying all this out loud. I have... I believe. Oh. The Adam's mascot is basically Comet on steroids. It is. He looks badass. I believe the Arcadia Adams have a special agreement of some sort with the NFL. Do they? Man, I have dreamed of going to Comet Land ever since I was a kid. But knowing what I know of Arcadia now? No way. Why not? It's still Arcadia's magical place. Why not go there? It might be fun. You, this guy scared me when I turned around. I just wanted to say this. I can't look at the screen. Don Walton and Senator Milton Burbank. Full. After that handshake, the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to legally adopt and raise children. Not that I'm a fan of the original American Arcadia, but it wasn't as bad as what we have now. Is it? No, no comment on the city of tomorrow. How about these? Oh. I think I saw some episodes of this Comet reboot. Not bad, but it didn't have the charm of the classic shorts. Edna, I'm home! <laughs> I revisited some episodes recently. Still hilarious. Mohawk Mike? Is that a mohawk? It doesn't look like a... Maybe I don't know what a mohawk is. Looking at things like Mohawk Mike, it's no wonder everybody says the 80s were the worst era for Walton Media shows. This movie is so cool. I love dark fantasy. Uh, it makes me want to watch it too. More than the others. Did I miss anything? I missed a car. Run! Walk. Run! A replica of Walton's electric car. Nobody knows where the real Walton Mobile is. Probably in a ditch somewhere. Probably. Visiting Arcadia. Oh, you guys have to wait in line. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Alright. I'm gonna take a little jog around. I know that some people see me... You know, interacting with everything in existence and you're like, just get on with the game! And to those people, I'd like to say, you don't know how to enjoy a game, just get out of here. I worked on the reboot during my first six months here. It was affected by the big shutdown of 2018. Uh, what is the big shutdown of 2018? And science always finds a way. My childhood was built on Arpad Kovacs playing songs about science to his piano. Best TV show ever. Period. Alright. It was in this season that American Arcadia went from being a family reality show to the horrible human zoo it is now. But it was always a, a human zoo, wasn't it? From what I understand, anyway. <sighs> that guy won everything. Even the Oscar for Best Picture. I don't know what those are, but they look really cool. And I'm guessing this is supposed to be the Oscar? No, because he clearly has one in his hands. I don't know what those are. They look pretty cool, but not as cool as these. Let's see. Modern witch. When I was a kid, I used to blink my left eye every now and then to see if I could do magic like Ginger the Witch. <laughs> People thought I was having a seizure. Oh, I love this movie. A 1946 classic with Joan Fontaine and Gregory Peck. What a weeper. The ending always brings me to tears. The award-winning 1950s film. 
So all those are movies that were made in Arcadia, right? Or at least I'm assuming it's the case? Or maybe it's just Walton Pictures movie. Which would make more sense, I guess. Hello. Ah, uh, Elijah Walton's distinctive blue suit and tie. I don't know about distinctive, but it is blue. Oh my god, what is this abomination? Ush, Comet's costumes in the 30s were creepy as hell. This guy yes. looks like the dude in a bear suit from The Shining. There's a dude in a bear suit in The Shining? The evolution of the most popular cartoon dog in history. Yeah, the, I like the newer one. Comet's first short, Spaceship Boogie. It's probably the most popular, but I think there are better Comet shorts than this one. Walton always said that his beagle Monty was the main inspiration for Comet. Hmm. Alright. His macho one-liners might sound a little outdated nowadays, but man... <laughs> Bogart as Doc Wolf is film history. Oh yeah, I grew tired of the Barry and Slim slapstick movies quickly. But the serious film they did was good. The adaptation of one of H. A. Ryan's horror novels. A boy from Minnesota? Screen placeholder. Okay. <laughs> Guess the screen placeholder. What do I know? The Blue Fountain Mall gets its name from a famous club where Hollywood writers used to have drinks after work. Legend has it that Elijah personally supervised every script at Walton Media. Most of his writers said that it wasn't easy to work with him, but I guess that genius comes at a price. Oh. Elijah handled everything from his office. Back when Walton Media was awesome, of course. Okay, did I miss anything? Because I wouldn't want to miss the lore. Do you guys have lore? Stick nacho and chips. Fair, fair enough. I've never ridden this thing, but according to my research, the access to the luggage scanning area is inside there. Yeah, but gift shop though. Nice souvenirs. I don't know about that. Don't don't worry, nothing bad's happening here. I'm just, you know, coming back here where I'm probably not supposed to be. Just like to imagine some very creepy weirdo just get behind you to give you word of encouragement. These do not break the fourth wall, for sure. The shape of the tie feels weird to me. Hmm. Hey miss, you can't enter here. Sorry. Exit only. Oops! Oh, I'm sorry! My bad! <laughs> if it's the case when I put up a door. Had to try. Slightly confusing. Outfits approved by the strict Arcadia Visitor Dressing Code. All of them? More suitable Arcadia outfits. Yes. Very good. And nothing else, so I can get on the ride. Ah, to you it might feel like I'm wasting time. To me, I'm having fun. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. I believe it. You know what? It was a nice uh, exhibit so far. Let's get on the ride! Regular entrance, speedway entrance. Hello! Hello? Aha! Hello! Hello! But bye! I don't know why you're here. Okay. 
Silence let's always. see what this ride is all about. Well, let's see. Why you look so shocked? I don't trust this person. I'm hoping for music and songs. Welcome to Elijah Hi. Walton's Dream of Tomorrow. Embark on a journey to discover how the greatest creative genius of the 20th century envisioned and built Arcadia. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle and supervise your children. Elijah Walton was born in 1900 in a small rural community of Minnesota. Influenced by his favorite author, Jules Verne, young Elijah dreamed of being a novelist or a scientist, but he ended up working in the film industry instead. After working as a scriptwriter in Hollywood in the 30s, Elijah and his brother Donald founded their own company, Walton Pictures. Together, they produced many successful box office hits, some of which are now considered timeless classics. But Elijah Walton wanted to reach a broader audience beyond the movie theater. And his wishes were ultimately fulfilled when television arrived in all the living rooms in America. Science always finds a way. And what a way that was. Broadcast in Visiorama, the innovative 3D audio and video system, Architects of Tomorrow became a must-see show every Saturday night in the 1950s. The show was famous for its unique songs, its combination of live action and animation, and the closing goodbye message from Elijah Walton in his prototype electric car, known as the Walton Mobile. After a decade of unprecedented success, Walton Pictures, now known as Walton Media, decided to undertake its most ambitious project, the acquisition of a huge piece of land in the Midwest to build the city of tomorrow. A city named Arcadia. Along with Walton's right-hand man and Architects of Tomorrow host, Arpad Kovacs, the first prototype of the Arcadia project began construction. This small prototype community is known today as Classic Arcadia or Old Arcadia. Sadly, a heart failure deprived Elijah Walton of seeing his magnum opus finished. On June 3rd, 1963, the world of entertainment mourned the loss of the most creative and talented mind of the 20th century. Oh, what about when Kovacs was kicked to the curb? Hmm? Don't you have an animatronic for that? Overcoming his grief for the loss of his brother, Donald Walton took the reins of the company. Under his guidance, Project Arcadia was finished on schedule. American Arcadia's premiere is still the second most watched event in American television history, just after the Apollo 11 moon landing. And the first Arcadia residents didn't even know their private lives were being sold and broadcasted. The success of the show attracted so many new residents to the city that old Arcadia soon became too small. It was evident that a larger, broader, and more modern city was needed. And thanks to the cooperation between Walton Media and Senator Milton Burbank, the Burbank Act was approved, so Arcadia grew and expanded to the size that Elijah Walton had always envisioned. You are omitting the tiny detail that the small print of the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to lock people up as if they were inside a damn zoo. This is the Arcadia we all know and love. An immense retro-futuristic metropolis inside a weather-controlled dome where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24-7 for more than 55 seasons. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Hmm, but it's a negative growth now, Vivian dear. Now that you know the story, you're ready to begin your journey. 
Soon you'll be accessing your entry checkpoint to Arcadia. As we speak, your luggage is being carried straight to your hotel room. There it is, my suitcase. I'll have to get into that room. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream. To build the city of tomorrow. A dream that my great uncle Don continued. Now, it's up to me, Vivian Walton, to keep that dream alive. But this dream wouldn't be a reality if it weren't for you. Because you truly are my grandfather's dream. You are Arcadia. You truly are my grandfather's dream. Shut your pie hole, you stupid bitch. Oof. Well. That was a nice ride. I wish we were a bit less negative about everything, but I guess uh, people are being held in there, so that's not very nice. Also, weather control, though. I heard that right, right? The gift shop! The toilets? Oh, I can just get up in there. Alright. Huh. No, it's not working. Yeah, there's a glass case on it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The mysteries afoot. Well, I need a gold and a whole bunch of things that I don't have. Let's keep going. Is that a door I can hack? It sure is. This must be the cast member's room. Uh, what do you mean, the cast member's room? What does that even mean? What is a cast member? Do you mean the the employee lounge? I'm confused. Joie de Vivian, an American Arcadia special. Fair enough. Um. So, a red light indicates an animatronic malfunction. A red light indicates an animatronic malfunction. Oh, well, you're gonna do my job for me, are you? Well, go for it. Use your key to activate the manual override. Uh-huh. What's more? Select the ride section where the problem is. Mm-hmm. And then? Enter the animatronic number from the selected section. I see. And then? A red light in every section will immediately stop the ride. Mm-hmm. And finally? If the ride stops, the ride doors will open. And now, because I was busy being sassy, I did not pay attention to anything. Ha <laughs> ha! Good. Ah, an attraction always loses a bit of its charm when you see how it works from inside. Not this one. Didn't have any charm to begin with. I don't know, you're just seeing the circuit you took. Like, is it really breaking the charm of it? Ooh, hello. Haha! <laughs> this must be the key for the manual override. It is. And now I have to do all of the thing I was not paying attention to. Good! Oh, hello. Repair receipt? Uh-huh. The code! 9518. Alright. Wait, something at the back? Nope. Alright. Bloop. And I'm guessing we want section 3. Well, I can put... 5, 1, 8. No. I think that's what we want. Off. Please reactivate the animatronics. Alright. I think mission accomplished? I think? I don't know why I would want to do that, but... Feels like it's right. All oh, right, I can run. I can't really tell the difference, but I can run. Oh, I'm not supposed to run in here. Sorry. <laughs> Where am I going then? Exit. That's a bit terrifying to get into this room. A broken animatronic from the first section of the ride. Its uh -huh. number is 6711. 
that it is. That it is. I have to turn off everything. I see. I see. Alright, well. Uh, section of the ride. Uh, six. Oops. Seven. One. one. Off. And then I need to figure out the code to this one, but it's written on its back. Seven. One. Two. Blop. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to sabotage the ride. Good. It wasn't worth the wait anyway. I run. Good. <laughs> they closed the door. Otherwise, I swear to you, I would have run in this direction full speed. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ugh. Silent animatronics give me the creeps. I don't know, it's like watching statues. I guess I can understand. And I know I'm supposed to go here, but also... No way I'm going back there. But no I want to go there. back there. Ah, Forcing me to play the game. Well, I'm supposed Ugh, to sneak in there. I have to crawl inside that duct. Oh, calm down. I had to crawl inside many ducks for uh, for a while as a as a as my other self. And you can't crouch and and uh, and run at the same time. No. I yo Luggage room? Mmm. My luggage info might be on my Arcadia e-ticket. Better check my phone. Uh... Car 10 C22. Is that... Oh no, it's the AA tree that I'm supposed to pay attention to. Maybe not. What am I supposed to pay attention to here? The conveyor belt has stopped. But I don't see my suitcase in here. Unfortunate, isn't it? I guess that has something to do. Uh, car number 10. There's only one. Seat whatever, it's locker 2i. Uh, how do I figure this out? Wait. But there's numbers on these and those numbers make no sense. Oh, AA1 on the floor! I see, I see. So mine is AA3 and it's 2i. AA3. There it is. And then it's 2i. And I don't know what those mean. I guess those are the times? Maybe? So 11.45, that would be this one. So 2i. Here we go! Haha. -ha. Okay, I'll leave the badge inside. Hold on. Let's a hope I could get Trevor to the Cygnus in time. And then out of Arcadia. Wait. I'll talk to you in three days. Hold on. Hold on. Could I have actually opened everything in existence? Did I have the power within myself? Trevor? Oh. Trevor, can you hear me? Huh? The coast is clear. Out of there. Now. Jeez, that took a long time. I almost fell asleep inside that cart. You need to get into the luxury suite at the end of this hallway so you can grab the badge. And make sure no one sees you without it. Trevor, you're going the wrong way. The luxury suite is on your right. I know, but I can push the button. Trevor, what the hell are you doing? I really don't know. I guess I was trying my luck. Fine. Considering that your improvised plan inexplicably didn't work out, would you please just consider doing what I told you? Thank you. Well, you know, like, I know I'm doing whatever, but, like, you could be nice about it. And I cannot run a strip. Well, I guess I'm already running, so. There's nothing down this hall. Good. Good. Oh. Hey, there's an auto droid in here. Yeah, it's preparing the room. Just ignore it. I need to turn the instant delivery device on. Uh. Turning off. Room is 
Oh, there's there is another. Oh, okay. Okay, so I have to make him crazy by turning Look on everything off, in existence. Oh, stop turning everything off. This machine is supposed to bring your suitcase here, right? Yeah, if it wasn't for this damn droid. Knock it off, Wally. Okay, first of all, I want to see what this room looks like just like this. Oh, I figured it out. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Oh, stop turning everything off. That was a great idea, Trevor. That's what I call teamwork. Yeah. Although I kind of feel guilty about that poor droid. navigation path. Please reset coordinates. I just kind of how it went. No, no. Alright. Shouldn't the luggage be here already? No, no, no. You didn't use the badge to access your room, so technically you're not inside the room yet, and that's why I need to manually redirect my suitcase through the instant delivery card. It's it's okay, Kovacs. I don't need to know every detail. Yeah. It's just that this plan is getting a little confusing. Ah, just leave it to me. Okay, <laughs> uh, give me a second. The robot just well, said this is frustrating. Well, well. Where are you, you tacky hideous suitcase? You dare. It was an awesome suitcase, first of all. I loved it. Now I just have to find it. I see ah, it. There it is. I have to reroute the conveyor belt to get it. This is to open and close that hatch. Yeah, I figured that out. I'm assuming the suitcase is going around in circles, so good. Then hmm. this changes the direction of the conveyor belt. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, there it is. Then the barrier. Then I'm not sure where this is coming from. Oh, I can choose which direction it's going. Turn right. Uh, this switch rotates this thing. Oh, it didn't do the thing I thought it would, but okay. Well, this toggle dire. It went back to here, I think. I think? No, it went where it was supposed to. But then it probably is going not where it's supposed to. Where did my suitcase go? Um. Ah, it's here. So I was correct in my first attempt. I'm supposed to shove it in there. And then it's gonna show up here. Ah, but then it can go nowhere. I see, I see. So that's the problem. Oh, my suitcase. It's going where it's supposed to. Alright, alright. I see, I see. Then I need to close this. Do this. Ah, I think I figured it out. I don't know how it did what it did, but okay. And here is your luggage, mister. Please remove obstruction. Poor robot. <laughs> Missing navigation path. All right. Okay, I got the badge. Finally! That aggravating hunk of metal was a real pain in the ass. You mean the badge or the droid? Well, a bit of both, I suppose. Okay, well now I have the badge, and I think I'm gonna call it quits right here. So, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed now, it. Trevor, go to the elevator on the left side. Join group six. They'll be exiting the city soon. I'll do it in a minute. What was I saying?
Yeah, thank you very much for watching, I do hope you enjoy it, and if you could, like always, press all the good buttons under this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And it does help me out a lot, so thank you in advance. And with all of that said, I bid you a glorious day, and I do hope to see you in the next episode of American Arcadia. Bye bye